Hello everyone. Before you get married, I know that some people may be very, very excited at the thought of getting married. And before you get married, you may feel, let me say this, you may feel a lot of peer pressure to get married. You may be getting older and you may have this weird thought in your mind that if you don't get married now that this is going to happen, that is going to happen. That may not even be the case. Before you get married, try to monitor the other person's personality as closely as possible. Don't allow your so-called, I guess I can say, love for a person to blind you from what you actually see. I think sometimes we are so like we may think about being with someone so much to where we may turn our mind off toward potential problems that may become very large in the future. If that if I said that correctly, we may turn our minds off of problems we see but may think into our minds that things will work out when we get married, but that problem that we see may become very large in the future. What you see in the beginning may be there after you get married. So if you have a fiance and let's say you see something, I am not saying to be overly picky because I don't think any of us are perfect, but some things may be deal breakers. Some things may be deal breakers. For instance, um, if a spouse is out of control, that may be a deal breaker. I mean, a spouse. If a woman or a man you intend to marry is out of control, that may be a deal breaker. If they are overly disrespectful, that may be a deal breaker. So what you see now, chances are, that person is going to be that way after you get married. So you have to ask yourself, the way that this person is, am I willing to put up with how they are after we get married? You may say that things may change and that may be the case. But what if things don't change or what if it takes very, very long for things to change? So you may have to ask yourself, are you willing to stay patient with this person until they are able to change? Some people may believe the problems they see in their fiance, girlfriend, boyfriend they won't see it after they get married. And what do you think marriage is? Do you believe marriage is this uh, magic thing to where it erases your prior problems? So once you get married, do you think that whatever problem that person has will be all the way gone after you marry them. Do you believe that is what marriage is? Don't let your overwhelming feeling to get married blind you from who you are intending to marry. I hope this is making sense. 
You may love the person, you may want to be with the person, but chances are you need to wait. You need to stay patient. You need to keep your eyes open. I hope this makes sense. Yes, the person who you want to marry, who you want to marry, may look pretty or may have money, may have the things you may want on the exterior. But how is that person's personality? How are you reacting? How are things going with you and that person? Are you seeing red flags you need to pay attention to? Are you ignoring the warning signs because you want to be married so people won't look down upon you? You have to be wise. You have to use discernment. You should also pray to Jesus Christ about obtaining a spouse. Just because you may not have an issue with a person right now doesn't mean that everything is going to be okay after you marry that person. Marriage is way more than what I believe people imagine it to be. I think some women or maybe some men may see marriage solely or mainly as a romantic thing and maybe not imagine or think about what can go wrong. So I think it is time to take your thinking off the romance films and those romance novels and place your mind really upon actual life. Marriage is so much more than what you believe it is. I believe marriage is so much about selflessness self-sacrifice. So if you are selfish, if you are mainly about yourself, if you feel like no one can put rules upon you, then you should not get married. You can't do or say anything you want to do in marriage. You can't. You cannot. Being married is like, this may be somewhat of a bad analogy, but being married is like somewhat, and this may not always be a bad thing. I would say being married is like having shackles on, being chained, like not so much being a prisoner in a negative sense, but being a prisoner as in having to go by the rules that are appointed for the man and woman. So you pretty much have to go by the rules that the man and woman have to go by in marriage. So when I say you are chained, you, you are not really free you are pretty much responsible for the other person and the other person is responsible for you. Meaning that you can't do whatever you want to do. You can't say whatever you want to say. There is an order. I hope this is making sense. So if you are single now and you believe that, hey, I can do whatever I want, I can say whatever I want, you are no good to be married. Because once you get married, the freedom is taken out. You got to go by the rules of marriage. In society, I believe there are many people who are married, but probably some don't go by the rules. And that is probably why if they are in a bad marriage, that is probably why they are in a bad marriage. I am trying to tell you, marriage is so much more 
than what you believe it is. So what you should do is maybe stop watching those romance films, stop reading those romance novels, and look in the Bible and go by what the Bible says. Like, hey, the Bible is telling me that I have to do this and do that and do this when I am married. Am I willing to go by these rules? Am I willing to submit myself and blah, 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 blah? If you aren't, then you should probably not get married. I believe marriage is a God-ordained thing. So if God made marriage, if you want to be successful in it, don't you have to go by his rules, honestly. So I think many people who want to be married, maybe a large number of those people aren't ready because probably they have not been taught or they have probably been led by a person who is ignorant of the things of marriage may have taught some people. Now some people, I think, are misled and thinking marriage should go a certain way, but it is probably not even that. So really, 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 really take your time and getting married. Yes, that man may be handsome and he may have money because I think many women want to marry a man with money. Yes, that woman may have a pretty face and she may have a nice shape. I think some men, <laughs> I guess it is their choice to marry a woman because she is pretty. You know, I, I would guess you should want more than just that, you know, because what if she gets older? Will she maintain everything? Will the man maintain his shape and everything too? So I think you should marry more for wiser things than the outward appearance, you know, uh, honestly. But I hope all of this makes sense. May God bless you.